This is to anybody that wants to get their foot done, don't get it. Most painful spot, the feet. The tops of my feet, I hate it, yeah, yeah. Not a single person can sit through getting their toes tattooed. I'm sweating and I'm shaking. We can take a break after this, right? Yes. Oh, thank God. If you guys are new to tattoos or, you know, if you don't have a lot of tattoos, you know that feeling of going to get that first tattoo or that tattoo you haven't gotten in a while and you know you just feel so pumped to get it it's like a christmas morning kind of thing and for me honestly um i didn't really have it for this one and i think it's just because i've been getting so many tattoos this year that it's finally kind of just worn off that excitement that i usually get for them i've always hated seeing it kind of be cut off at the foot i don't like seeing skin you guys know me i hate it so to kind of get this out of the way and see now my foot fully covered is gonna be awesome. And I will say to anybody that uh, doesn't like feet, this isn't gonna be the video for you because I don't got the prettiest feet. I got my mom's feet. Hopefully with this tattoo, it makes it look a little bit better and a little bit more uh, eye appealing. I I'm nervous for the foot for a couple reasons because everybody always says the uh, foot is one of the most painful areas they've had tattooed. Top three most painful, my foot, my toes, and my ankles. Definitely the tops of my feet. The, the foot. The top of the feet. The foot is where I experience people uh, moving around a lot. Getting that tattoo and that ankle completion comes with risk and it comes with you know pain so gotta get it done i hope you guys enjoy the tattoo and i hope you guys enjoy the uh full full completion of the leg sleeve <laughs> Like, I remember asking Quest in a video, I'm like, what's your top three most painful areas? And he's like, foot, ankle, and toe area. and I'm already uncomfortable. I gotta curl my, my toes in and my leg is already cramping in this position and it hurts. Oh, oh my God, this hurts already. you like better, hand or foot for tattooing? The foot's better. Foot's better. Because uh, it can it has more durability than the hand. And for everybody, this is his first foot. So this is the first foot tattoo, and talk about going all surface on a foot. is to anybody that wants to get their foot done, don't get it. It's just non-stop pain the whole time. Oh. Achilles kills. I'm not joking when I say I'm sweating from this. Sweating. Yeah, the good thing about white is knowing it's almost done. Oh.
this helped Crystal Skull guide you through the session. His favorite. This helped him get through a tattoo. <laughs> 16 hours on the foot. A little bit of drinking definitely does help. I'll give it that. Please promote us, Crystal Skull. <laughs> we're gonna start a tradition now. Every time we finish a tattoo, as we just finished the foot, we're gonna take a simple shot and uh, celebrate it. So, cheers, buddy. Cheers, bro. I gotta drive again. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are finally done, and man, what a long day it was. We spent two days on the foot. We thought it was only gonna take one. It's just crazy how much surface area is actually on this, like, you know, this area of the foot, especially when you're doing so much like what we did in terms of full coverage. I, I would say, honestly, like 95% of the foot, the top foot at least, is covered. All I got to say is pain pain is the only word that comes to mind the only thing that comes to my mind when i think about foot now it, it's it's excruciating from start to the white in the end it was just all pain all the time it, there wasn't any time where you know i was really like oh this is easy man it was just oh i'm traumatized i'm traumatized so anybody thinking about getting a foot tattoo just be ready and anybody thinking about doing what i just did and doing full coverage you're crazy. You're absolutely crazy. Don't do it. But, uh, you know, the outcome is absolutely amazing at the same time, guys. Like, you see it. The mummy just looks so good in terms of how it's popping out at you. It looks like it's coming out from under the ground as a mummy kind of is. And then also you have that extra skull now that kind of complements the Anubis. And then there's the, the hieroglyphics that kind of complement the whole theme in general of the ancient Egyptian on the bottom half. Everything just ties in together so perfectly. And I'm just so happy with the outcome. And Brandon loves it too. He's so happy with how this has turned out too. And I hope you guys are as well. I know this is a very dark tattoo and you know some people may not like it. That's totally fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Give it also, you know, go ahead, subscribe so you don't miss any future tattoos. We got the back coming next year. We're going to do a full back piece and this is going to be a back piece you do not want to miss because I already have a great idea for it and it's something unique and different and special and that I don't think anybody else has done before. Like always, Justin out. Later, guys. Yeah, uncomfortable. No, that's fine. This, this, this feels totally good. Well, I think anything feels good compared to Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> The drugs one is definitely in my top two. Which one? Drugs all the way. Here. That was just the one. I, I wrote it, that one. Just because how you wrote it. Don't do drugs. Yeah, don't do drugs. <laughs>